to the degree that agreeableness is temperamental, that the aggressive tendency isn't as powerful in you as it is in other people. That might lead you to make judgments like, and I'm sure some of you, perhaps some, some of you who had an angry parent, or particularly an angry father, have decided at some point in your life that to be aggressive is wrong. To be angry is wrong, for example. Or to be aggressive is wrong, it's morally wrong. One of the things that happens in psychotherapy very frequently, though, is that people come into psychotherapy for a variety of reasons, some of them are merely practical, they're having problems in adaptation because their lives have got very, very complicated and they really don't know what to do about it. Sometimes they go into psychotherapy because they have very high levels of negative emotion and that can be associated with the first problem. But very often they come into therapy because they're getting pushed around constantly and they really don't have anything that's a sufficiently well-developed personal identity. And generally, th those that happens, by the way, most, more often with women than it does with men, and that's because women are, by temperament, more agreeable than men, and perhaps also by socialization. Um, temperament certainly plays a big role. Often, then, the, the goal of therapy is assertiveness training. And assertiveness training, you could think of as the behavioral psychologist's equivalent to incorporating the shadow. So, you know, you may think, well, it's... It's a necessary part of existence to be nice to other people. And there's some truth in that. Not really. It's a very shallow way of looking at the world. Because nice is not a very sophisticated word. But even if that's the word that you do use, you should also be nice to yourself. And sometimes what that means is that you have to put forward your own wishes and desires in a manner that causes a certain amount of conflict. And in order to, to withstand that conflict, you have, to have, you have to be able to draw on the, the sources of aggression that in some sense are, 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 are a deep part of your, your inbuilt set of possibilities. Now, the reason that's necessary, in part from a biological perspective, is that people are often afraid of engaging in conflict because they're afraid, because, because, because conflict can be real trouble. And anger inhibits fear. So if you don't have a well-developed capacity for, well, we could say rage, then you can't overcome your fear, and then you can't stand up for yourself, and then you're going to get run over. Now, the problem with that is, is that if you get run over enough, it'll make you resentful, and then that will make you aggressive, except it'll make you aggressive in sneaky, underground, and somewhat unconscious ways that are much less likely to be productive than, you know, a frank, exchange of viewpoints and some conscious negotiation. So, one of the things I do in therapy for people who need assertiveness training is I get them to pay attention to their resentment, and resentment is often a good avenue into the shadow. Because, first of all, resentment is a pretty destructive emotion. It's an extremely useful emotion, but it can be very destructive because it gives rise to, well, first of all, a sense of victimization, and second, then, the underground growth of all sorts of ideas of revenge and vengeance and, and also a kind of stubborn non-cooperativeness because who, who wants to cooperate when they feel taken advantage of? And so, part of Jung's idea with regards to the shadow is that obviously the social world wants you to be peaceful and predictable and maybe even easy to get along with but that doesn't necessarily mean that peaceful, predictable, and easy to get along with A, are the only virtues, because they're certainly not and one thing we know about virtues is that if they're taken to too great an extreme, they become vices and B, they're certainly not the only virtues you know, there are what you might call darker virtues, so to speak they're, they're more dangerous virtues in some sense, because they harness forces that can be very destructive if they're not utilized consciously and aggression is a, certainly an example of that 